The following is a reenactment of events that took place on May 5th, 2021. Hey, I got an email from Guitar Kit World. Hi Richard, we really like your videos. Would you be interested in reviewing one of our kits for your YouTube channel? Check out our website and let us know. Here's the link. Well, let's check it out. Ooh, looks cool. They got strats, Les Pauls, SGs, Explorers, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, they got flying Vs. In all my years of playing guitar, I've never owned a flying V. You know what? I'm getting a flying V! My flying V is done! Huge shout out to the guys at Guitar Kit World. This guitar far exceeded my expectations and it turned out awesome. I'm gonna start by showing you guys a slideshow of some picks that I took during the build process. And make sure you stick around because at the end, there's gonna be my full shred demo. Plus, for the first time ever, my four part flying V harmony solo. And also, for the first time ever, my very first mega metal jam. Not only does it look totally awesome, but it plays and sounds great. This is made out of mahogany and the wood looked absolutely beautiful and I thought, man, that would be terrible to just cover up all the wood and not see any of the wood. So I thought, I'll stain it. Plus staining it is a lot easier than painting it. I thought, okay, I'm gonna stain it like an antique white. It'll be kind of a white finish, but you'll still be able to see the wood grain underneath and it'll look really cool with the chrome hardware. You know, I had it pictured in my head how it was gonna turn out and everything. So I got the stain, I started wiping the stain on the body wood, and guess what happened, guys? The white just disappeared instantly. I wiped it on, wiped it on again, and you just couldn't see any white at all. So at that point, I was like, okay, what should I do? So I decided, all right, I'm just gonna do a complete 180. Instead of doing a light antique white, we're gonna go for the dark, dark brown. I mean, that's how it turned out. So I'm pretty happy with it, even though it's not exactly what I planned on doing. And then after the stain dried for about a day, what I did was I took a piece of sandpaper and I lightly sanded on the wood so that some of the stain would come off and that you could see more of the grain underneath. Then on the back of the neck, guys, I put tongue oil. I did two coats of tongue oil and that turned out really pretty. I was actually thinking even after I did that, like, wow, maybe I should have just done the whole thing in tongue oil because look at the color. It's absolutely beautiful. So I used all the parts that came with the kit. I didn't use any outside parts except for the strings. Everything fit together perfectly. All the holes were drilled in the right spots. Everything lined up great. The neck pocket was carved perfectly, has the perfect angle for this bridge. I didn't have to shim the neck or anything like that. It was just absolutely perfect. And it was really easy putting this thing together. If you're like me guys, like a couple of years ago, I would have thought there's no way I can put a guitar together. I don't have the skills, I don't have the knowledge, I don't know how to solder. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff two years ago. But in the last two years, I've done several guitars, and what I've found is that it's actually not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. If I can do it, guys, trust me, you can do it. The thing that I am most happy about with this guitar is the neck and the fret work. And they've done a fantastic job on the neck. The frets, nice and even. The neck is straight. 
I didn't have to do any fret leveling. I was able to get the action nice and low, as low as I have it on my other guitars. I mean, it's just, it's perfect, it really is. There was only one thing that I wasn't happy with, the neck pickup. Not the pickup itself, the wire from the neck pickup was not long enough to reach the switch. Wasn't a huge deal, you know, luckily I have wire, luckily I know how to solder, so I had to solder on like an extra little piece of wire so that it would reach all the way to the switch. So if I was to give one piece of advice to Guitar Kit World, it would be that on your neck pickups and the bridge, just make sure the wire is long enough to reach to where it needs to go. Overall, guys, I'm really, really satisfied with this guitar. I've never had a flying V before. This is my very first flying V. And when I look at it, when I grab it, when I play it, it just makes me want to play more metal than I usually do. When I went to go play it, I was like, okay, how do I play this thing? Okay, well normally I would put the guitar right here and play it like this. Uh, nope. Oh no, because then I'm all hunched over and it's going down that way. I don't like that either. No, no, no. No. And finally, I figured out it's gotta go like this. It's all good. All right, guys, it's time for the jams. All right guys, that's it. So I'm really happy with this guitar. Love it, turned out great. If you're interested in checking out their stuff, I've put a link in the description. All right guys, see you next time.